So today it's a class for everyone, just like every Sunday. If you're complete beginners, you're very welcome. And if you're more experienced, you're again welcome. We're focusing on different fundamental aspects of the practice every Sunday. That's why we call it beginner's yoga. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy yoga, but it means that it can be easy. I'm giving options so you can keep it simple, basic and smooth, gentle. At the same time, I do encourage you to push your edge. So stay on your edge. Maybe don't overdo it. But at the same time, if you don't try, then you'll never know. <laughs> so give it a go. Whenever you feel that maybe you can push a bit more, flirt with that. And then if it feels wrong, back off. Listen to your body. Pain is good because it shows us that we're doing something we shouldn't be doing. So as soon as you feel that pinch and that pain, just take a breath and see what you're doing. You're probably not giving space to your body and you're collapsing somewhere. At the same time, don't just back off and forget about it because it's indications about things that you're doing so pain is useful because it's telling us that okay there there's something i should be working on so maybe i should be going slower taking it easy or making the right engagements doing things that i'm not doing as properly in any case i'm giving a lot of indications every time if um, a lot of the cues just overwhelm you just breathe Look at me and try to follow along. With time, you'll get used to my cues and they will not be that uh, overwhelming. Good, okay. By now, I see there's some people on Zoom, some people on Instagram, so we can start. You want to find a comfortable seat to start with. Sitting on the ground is a traditional way, but sitting on a chair is always an option. You can also roll your mat or place something under the back of your pelvis. You just want the back of the pelvis to lift up so that you find an anterior pelvic tilt. The pelvis can tilt posteriorly and anteriorly. So we actually want to stick our butt out and curl the tailbone, the bottom part of the spine, back. So imagine how the tailbone usually curls in. In anterior pelvic tilt, we're uncurling it back. And with that long lower back, we can find a proud chest. Because as soon as you fall back, then you're rounding down, and this is not a meditative pose. So if you want to, place your hands under your pelvis, feel the bony parts of the pelvis, and pull them back so that you can sit in front of those bony parts, what we call sit bones, and then find height by reaching up through the ribcage, through the chest, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down the back. If sitting cross-legged does not work for you, the same pelvic action works on a chair or in a kneeling position or in any other position that might be familiar to you. So you want to sit in front of your sit bones, pull the belly in and reach up, reach the chest up, roll the shoulders all the way up, back and down, and reach the back of your skull up towards the sky. Remember what we were saying the other time, there's this muscle that attaches the clavicles, the collarbones, with the skull, the back of the skull, and you want to really lengthen that muscle. So think of that length. As soon as we're coming forward, or as soon as we tilt the head back, we're actually contracting that muscle, and we want length whenever we have um, a seat that has integrity, whenever we're extending up. Once you find your comfortable seat, breathe. For complete beginners, stillness is a big challenge. And with yoga, we always have a point of focus. So when you close your eyes, you focus on your breath. 
relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Inhale comfortably. And exhale completely. Keep sitting up tall. Every week we're building on what we said last week. Every class is of course independent also. But whatever we talked about always applies. So you want to find a pelvic floor engagement. Think of your sit bones coming in so that you feel a lift through the pelvic floor muscles. The thin layers of muscles are the pelvis, contracting, squeezing and lifting up. It's not too harsh. You don't want to kill your pelvic floor, but you do engage it and lift up. Think of it as an energetic lift and a visualization of everything lifting up from your pelvic floor up the spine. And then you always want to find a strong belly and lift up through the belly, through the rib cage, through the chest, while having the shoulder blades down the back so that the chest is proud. Today we're focusing on breath. We really want to find that steady, continuous, comfortable, but deep breath. So start by just noticing how you're breathing. And then start counting how long it takes you to inhale and how long it takes you to exhale. Now maybe it takes you four counts to inhale and six counts to exhale. You inhale for one, two, three, four, and you naturally exhale for one, two, three, four, six, five, six. <laughs> Learn to count. Okay. So if that's the case, in order to have a steady, even breath, we want to lower the bigger figure to the smaller figure. So if you're inhaling for four and exhaling for six, try to inhale for four and exhale for four. Count your breath as you inhale. And let your exhale be of the same length. Keep your face relaxed. Keep inhaling comfortably for that count. And exhale. Ideally, every time you inhale, you fill your lungs with air completely. And every time you exhale, you empty your lungs. We want a deep, long breath. So inhale all the way to fill the lungs. And exhale for the same length, emptying the lungs within that length. If you find that the count that you initially chose does not work, Find a count that works for you. I remind you, it should be a long, steady, even and continuous breath. No breaks at any point. Release the engagement of the breath. You can shake it off, shake your body, forget about what we're doing, and then inhale your arms up, reach up, really stretch the body up, and exhale, hands to heart center. We're going for an OM. So chant an OM, make the OM as articulate as possible, and target the center of the chest. Inhale for OM. OM. your arms by your sides or place them on your thighs. 
We're now going to synchronize our breaths so that everyone doing the class can move at the same pace. The challenge throughout the class is to keep that even, steady breath throughout. You might lose it at points, but the intention is to keep coming back. Every movement should start at the beginning of the count and end at the end of the count. In that way, every movement takes a whole inhale or a whole exhale. So let's try it. We'll do count of four. So inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale one, two, three, synchronize. Inhale one, two, three, four, exhale one, two, three, four, in one, two, three, four, out one, two, three, let's move. In, arms up, two, three, touch down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, twist to the right, one, two, three, four, stay here, one, two, three, Four, exhale, twist taller. Three, four, inhale back to center. Two, three, four, out to the other side. Two, three, four, stay. One, two, three, four, twist taller. One, two, keep following your breath. Inhale, one, come up. Three, four, out, lateral stretch. Two, three, Four, stay, one, two, reach further away, out, one, two, three, four, come back up, one, two, reach up, four, out, one, other side, two, three, four, stay, one, two, three, four, exhale, reach, one, two, three, good, inhale, come up, two, three, four, exhale, come forward, two, three, four, inhale, chest forward, two, three, four, exhale, pull with your hands, three, four, stay and breathe, two, three, four, and curl tailbones back and up, two, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, press hands down, inhale, come forward, three, four, so count all fours and exhale, come back, child's pose, three, four, okay, so if that was too much, you can come back to just comfortable breathing, and know that that's the intention, that throughout the practice, you have a steady breath. That breath might change, um, the count might change. As we get more tired, we breathe shorter breaths, but the intention is that all the inhales stay and keep, uh, the, stay steady with the exhale even, and uh, that means that they have the same length. So press down into the hands. We're coming forward and inhaling for four. Two, three, four, exhale back. One, two, three, four. Inhale, come forward. Stay here, exhale. Round your back. Arch, inhale. Exhale, round. Follow breath with movement. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, round the back. Stay here, inhale. Keep pressing down into the hands, press down into the knees, and tap the toes down. 
With your next inhale, you'll press into the hands, press into the feet and lift the knees off the ground. Exhale here. Inhale here. Activate your core. Exhale here. Keep the belly in, shoulder blades down the back. Inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Press into the hands, reach the hips up. Three, four. Stay here and breathe. Push into the hands. You can close the eyes and concentrate on the effect of the steady breath on the body. In, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four. Feet come forward, in, one, two, plant pose, three, four, exhale, knees, chest and chin, four. Inhale, cobra pose, press the feet down, pick up the chest, and exhale, push downward facing dog again. One more time. In one, two, three, plank out. One, two, three, knees, chest, chin. In one, two, three, cobra out. One, two, three, and four. Downward facing dog. Breathe here. Press into inner hands, outer hands. Reach the hips up. Remember, you can bend the knees and curl the tailbone. And eventually, you want to reach the heels back, stretch the legs. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three. Right foot forward. Inhale, foot in between the hands, chest up. Exhale, left foot forward, top of the mat. Inhale, press the feet down, bend the knees if needed, come up, and exhale, arms by the sides. Arms up again, follow the breath with the movement. Exhale, fold forward. Three, four, in, right foot back, right knee down, chest up, four, out, knees, chest, chin. Four, finish the movement at the end of every breath. Inhale, cobra. Four, exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, top of the mat. Three, four. Press feet down, come up. Reach up. And exhale, arms by the sides. Good. Arms up. One, two, three, four. Exhale, fold. Two, three, Four. Inhale, left foot back, knee down, chest up, four, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Three, four, reach forward, cobra, four, exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot, in, one, two, chest up, four, out, come forward. Three, four, press feet down, come up, two, three, Four arms by the sides. One, two, slow movement. Three, four. Arms up. One, two, three, four. Arms down. One, two, three. Now they touch. Right foot back. One, two, chest up, chin up, out, knees, chest, chin. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four. Down dog. One, two, three. Left foot. One, two, three, four. Forward fold. One, two, three, four. Press feet down. Come up. Arms by the sides. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Left foot back. One, two, Hips forward, chest up, and exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale forward. And exhale down. Inhale plank, one, 
two, slow, three, four, knees down, hips back, child's pose. And relax. So the sun salutations, what we have already done, they're a flow. So that could be more challenging for someone to synchronize the movement and make sure that every inhale starts with a movement and the movement ends at the end of the inhale and the movement is actually smooth throughout. You don't rush into it and then slow down. And then with the exhale, right away you start the new movement and so on and so forth. Now we're going for some asana postures the state of the asana the, the the state of the posture where you stay and you hold a, a, a pose that could be less challenging when less challenging when it comes to coordination but it could be more challenging when it comes to stillness you have to stay still and breathe with the same steady, even breath. When the body is still and the breath is even, magic happens. We're working with our nervous system throughout the practice. So give it a go. Try to be as still and as um, conscious as possible. Conscious with your stillness and conscious with the even breath. Okay, exhale, reach forward through the hands, reach back through the hips. Inhale, come to all fours. One, two, three, four. Tap to center, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down, and untuck the toes, hips forward, count down, low lunge. Keep breathing here, count your breath. You can push the hips a bit further forward, suck the lower belly in, reach the chest up. If you don't feel it enough, you can bring the hands to the thighs, roll the shoulders back, down, bring the chin in and bring head towards the knee so that you feel the left psoas stretching. The more you push the hips forward, the more you'll feel it. Keep pressing the feet down to activate the left glute, the right thigh and breathe here. Continues even deep breaths. Two more, one, two, three, four, exhale. Last one, in and out, one, two, three, four. Inhale, come back to center, hips over the back knee. You can bring the back foot in, so both knees are square. Reach the shoulders back, shoulder blades down with your next inhale, so follow your count and bring the arms up. And then with the next exhale, twist towards the right. Bring your hands to the center of the chest. You can stay here, reach up. If you want to exhale, hook the elbow against the outer knee, and use the elbow to twist a bit more. Option to stay here, to stay in the previous variation, or to tuck the back toes under and straighten the back leg. And breathe. One, two, three, four, out. One, two. Keep breathing. Stay engaged. Stay still. Last breath. In, one, four, out, one. And four, press feet down, inhale, come back to center. Reach the arms up, so maybe the knee is down, maybe the leg is up. Stay here and breathe. Make sure that the hips are active, that your pelvis is tucked under. Two more breaths. Keep 
Keep the breath steady. Long. Count it. Last one. Good. Inhale. Reach the weight forward. Bring the hands to the ground. And exhale. Bring the back foot in. So if the knee is down, move the knee in. Otherwise, leg up. Bring the left heel down if the leg is up and straighten the legs. You can bring the hand to the shin or even higher up or keep it on the ground. Again, if the knee is on the ground, you can simply straighten the back, the front leg and flex the foot. Five breaths. Four breaths. Three breaths. Keep your spine long. Two breaths. Last breath. Good. Hands on the ground. Inhale. Chest forward. Bend the front knee. And exhale. Knees to chin. Inhale. Cobra. And exhale. Down dog. Five breaths in downward facing dog. Keep the body active. Keep pressing into the hands. And remember you can bend the knees if it's too much for the hamstrings and then curl the tailbone up. Two last breaths. With your next inhale, follow your count. Inhale the left foot forward, the right knee down, and tap the toes and push the hips forward. Remember, you can stay here or option, bring the hands to the thigh. Push the hips forward. You can stay here or roll the shoulders back, bring the chin in, and with your next exhale, roll head towards the knees. Press the feet down. Wherever you are, activate left thigh and right glute and breathe. Relax the muscles of your face, but keep the engagements of the deep core. Two more breaths. Keep lifting pelvic floor up, pull belly in and up. Keep the shoulder blades down the back, last breath. Press the feet down, inhale, come back to center. Make sure that you have right angles forming with the knees, with the hips, and inhale, bring the arms up, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left, hand center of the chest. You can stay up or hook the elbow against the thigh. You can stay here or tuck back toes under and straighten the back leg and breathe. Four, five. Focus on your breath. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good, come back to center, knee on the ground or back leg up. Reach up and breathe. Tuck the tailbone under, use the legs. Remember your knee can be down. Three more breaths. Two. Last one. Inhale, reach the chest up, reach it forward, and exhale, bring the hands to the ground, straighten the back leg, or keep the knee on the ground and straighten the front leg. So option to bring the back heel in and come to pyramid pose, hand anywhere on the leg, 
or to keep the knee down and come to half splits, five breaths. And curl the tailbone down and back. Keep the front leg straight. If your back leg is up, keep it straight. Keep sucking lower belly in, reach it up and reach the chest closer to the foot if possible. Two last breaths. Last one. Inhale the chest forward, hands to the ground, bend the front knee, and exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Follow your breath. Inhale, cobra. Press the feet down, exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths in downward facing dog. If you're tired, knees on the ground, five breaths in child's pose. Keep your breath steady. Keep it even. Keep it deep, complete. Two more breaths. Last one. Come to downward facing dog if you're not there. Exhale. Inhale the right foot forward. Warrior two position. Turn the left foot to, to the be parallel to the short side of the mat and stay here. Keep the belly in. Inhale. Press the feet down. Activate the glutes. And exhale. Press into the feet. Lift the pelvic floor up. Pubis up. And then inhale. Press into the legs to come up. If coming all the way up is too much, you, all, you again have the option of bringing the left knee down, turning the foot in and coming up with the left knee on the ground, but ideally the front knee is at a right angle. Four more breaths. Three more breaths. So in any variation of warrior two, keep pressing the outer foot or the outer knee down. Two more breaths. Reach the arms out, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Last breath. Inhale here. And exhale the right elbow on top of the right knee and the left arm overhead. Whether the left knee is on the ground or not. Steady the breath. Pull the right shoulder blade down the back and reach away through the left fingers. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach further away through the arm. And exhale, reach further away through the left foot, the left knee. Pull the belly in, inhale, come back to center. And exhale, reverse the warrior. Left hand on the shin, on the glute. If the knee is on the ground, left hand on the ground. Keep the right, right knee bent. Breathe. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back, reach away through the right arm. Pick up the pubis, pull the belly in. Chest is proud. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, pull the belly in. We're coming back to center. Press the right foot down, inhale, come back to center. And exhale, windmill the arms to the front of the mat. Bring the back foot back so that it's ready for plank pose. Round the back, pull the belly in. Next, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Press into the hands, bring the knees down. The chest and the chin down. Inhale, come forward. Pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale back. Left foot forward. Inhale. Exhale, right heel down. Open up the left hip. Stay here. 
and exhale, press the feet down, activate the glutes. If it's too much, bring the right knee down, the, left, the right foot back, and inhale, come up, warrior two variation. Keep breathing. Remember, the back knee can be down or the leg is on the ground. Keep the front knee over the heel or towards that direction. Don't let it play out to the sides and don't let the knee go too far forward. Knee over the heel or slightly back. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest, reach away through the arms, back through the shoulders, down through the shoulder blades, up through the back of the skull and breathe. Two more deep, steady breaths. Last one. Inhale, exhale, side angle variation. And breathe. Feel that your whole right side is expanding. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back. You can relax the head. Press right foot down, right outer foot. If the leg is straight, really straight on the leg. If the knee is down, press outer knee down. Pull the lower belly in and up. Exhale, press the feet down and inhale, come back up. Reach up, exhale, reverse the warrior. Move with your breath and then stay there and breathe. Three more breaths. Make sure the front knee is bent over the heel and the back leg is straight or if the knee is on the ground, keep pulling belly in, reach the chest up. Last breath. Reach away to the left arm. Pull belly in, inhale back to center. And exhale, windmill the arms down. Press the feet down, turn the right foot to the ground, push into the hands, no sound, ideally with the foot, pick up the foot and take it back, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra pose, smoothen the movement and exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose, five breaths. Stay with it, four breaths. Find a point of focus with the eyes. You can gaze at your nose tip, you can gaze at your belly button. Two more breaths. Last breath. Inhale, bend knees, gaze forward and walk or hop forward. And exhale, fold over the legs. Press, balls of the feet down, inhale, come up. Reach up. And exhale, hands by the sides. Bring all your weight to the left foot. Inhale, the right foot up, right knee up. And exhale, open up the right hip. You might bring the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Take it lower to the inside of the shin, or even have the toes on the ground, hands to the center of the chest and breathe. Deepen your breath. Steady the breath, count your inhale and count your exhale, make it the same length. Find a point of focus with the eyes and breathe. Two more breaths, make sure the standing leg is strong and straight. Last breath. Inhale, knee back to center. And exhale, foot down. Other leg, inhale, left knee up. 
and exhale, open up the hip, take the foot anywhere. Inhale, the arms to the chest. Exhale, press down through the right leg, really activate the thigh, the glute, strong straight leg. Five breaths here. Four, deepen the breath, lengthen the breath. Three. Two. One. Inhale, knee back to center. Exhale, foot down. Open up the feet, hip distance apart. Turn the feet out. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. Roll the shoulders back, exhale, start squatting down. Inhale, keep squatting down. Maybe you have to lift the heels, exhale, come all the way down. Maybe you need to support yourself with the hands. Keep breathing smoothly. You can use the elbows to open up the hips a bit more. Press the outer feet down and breathe. Remember, you can be on your heels and even your hands can be on the ground and maybe bend slightly so that you push with the elbows. It's the same hip opening motion. Three more breaths. Two. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Press hands together, inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, bring the chin in. Pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back, but round your back, bring your hands forward. Keep your back rounded, but keep your shoulders towards the sky and towards the back. Pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum. Keep breathing here in this rounded back position. Three more breaths. It's fine if you're on the balls of the feet. And exhale. Okay. Hands, uh, shoulder width apart. So make sure your hands are not too wide. Elbows, shoulder width apart. So make sure that the elbows, the hands, and the shoulders are creating a right angle and then keep that rounded back but gaze forward so pull the shoulders towards the back keep breathing while i'm talking so keep breathing smoothly gaze forward press into the hands lift the hips up lift the, the heels up and breathe keep the breath steady exhale inhale maybe lift the right foot just the right Exhale, maybe take it back down. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, take it back down. Keep the elbows in, press hands down. Inhale, maybe both feet come up. Exhale, press them down and come back. Rest for a second. Okay, so five breaths in Bakasana, the arm balance. You can repeat what we did. You don't need to lift the feet. Maybe you lift one foot and then the other. Maybe you lift both for all five breaths. The challenge again is to have the breath be even. Maybe it will be shorter because we're under tension, but make sure that the inhale and the exhale are even. They're of the same count. And make sure that you're inhaling fully and exhaling completely, even if you're now counting just to two or to three. So try it. The challenge, of course, is to keep counting up to four, but the important thing is for the exhale to be as long as the inhale is and vice versa. So press the hands down, elbows in, round the back, gaze forward, and when you're ready, push into the hands, bring all the weight forward, and breathe for five. In order to find the balance, you really have to bring your weight all the way forward. Four, four. 
If you fail, come out again. Four, three. Two. Last breath. And come back. Sit back. No hands or using the hands. Extend the legs forward. Bring the hands down, push into the hands and curl the tailbone back, anterior pelvic tilt. Pick the chest up, the chin up, and exhale, fold forward. Maybe you're here. Keep the legs straight first. Flex the feet. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, if the breath takes you deeper, you can grab onto the big toes, but don't round the back. This is not what we want. If you want to work with lengthening the lower back, then you can bend the knees. Keep, up, keep the chest proud and fold forward. If you also want to work with the hamstrings stretching, then stay higher up or fold with the legs straight, but also with the back long. Once you find what you're doing, take five deep breaths. Three more breaths. Stay with it. Two more breaths. Last breath. Inhale halfway up. And exhale release. Press the hands down. Sit up tall. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale the arms forward. Press the heels down. And exhale. Come back slowly. Inhale. Keep coming back. Try not to lift the heels of the ground. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Eventually come to lying down. Bend your knees. Heels. Same. Uh, opening as the hips for this one. Press the feet down, feel the glutes engaging and the hamstrings engaging. So press down into the feet, the heels, feel the back of the legs working. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest, roll the shoulders towards the ears, down onto the ground and then away from the ears. So shoulder blades towards the sacrum. But keep the belly in and up so that you press the lower back down and you find a posterior pelvic tilt where the pubis is moving towards the chin. With your next inhale, you'll inhale the hips up and the arms up. And when the hips come all the way up, the arms touch the ground and the inhale ends. And then exhale, bring the arms back by your sides as you move the hips down and synchronize everything. So hips and hands and exhale ends at the same time. Inhale, hips up, arms up. Keep following your breath and exhale down. One, two, three, four. In, up. One, two, three, four. Down. One, two. Keep pressing heels down. Activate glutes. In, one. Keep the belly in. Posterior pelvic tilt. Out, down. Three more. Two more, keep the belly strong, chest to chin, and exhale down. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, let's do one more, the best one. One, two, engage glutes, posterior pelvic tilt, out, come down, synchronize movement, and end breath at the bottom. Breathe deeply. Exhale completely. Bring knees to chest. Push knees onto chest and exhale. Move the sacrum away from the head. Inhale, you can push up with the knees, but resist with the hands. Push down with the hands. 
and exhale move the sits bones away from you press the lower back onto the ground two more breaths inhale reach the back of the scalp away from the sacrum exhale reach the shoulder blades away from the head last breath inhale and exhale make sure the face is relaxed jaw relaxed eyebrows relaxed inhale bring the knees over the hips feet flex arm right arm out and exhale bring the knees to the left maybe the knees will not come to the ground that's fine you can move the feet a bit higher and just pull the shoulder blades down and bring the gaze to the right if the uh, knees can come to the ground then move the hips so that the hips are in one line with the head and the knees are in right angles pull the shoulder blades down the back gaze to the right two deep breaths here even breaths excellent Exhale. Inhale, bring knees close to the chest and exhale, knees up, feet to hips. Move pelvis to the other side, inhale and exhale, twist to the other side. Take the same variation as before. It's fine if the knees are up, pull the belly, pick up the chest, pull the shoulder blades down, gaze towards the left. If your knees can come down, bring the hips further to the left so that they're under the head and move the knees at a right angle, feet flexed. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, gaze to the left, two deep breaths, even breaths. Inhale, knees closer to the chest and exhale back to center, heels back to center, hips back to center, hug your knees, inhale, bring forehead to knees, and exhale, pull shoulder blades down the back, reach the six bones away, feet to hips, inhale, open the mouth, exhale, inhale, exhale through the mouth, reach the legs out, and allow the feet to splay out, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, pull the shoulder blades down the back and then tuck the chin in so that the back of the head is long, relax the muscles of the face, relax your arms by your sides. Relax the breath, no counts anymore. Just bring your awareness to your belly and watch the breath. Set it free. Relax the face, relax the pelvic floor, relax the arms, the legs. And relax your awareness at the belly button, watching it rise up naturally and drop back down closer to the center of the earth. Stay here, stay with your belly button and relax.
extend that breath to your hands, to your feet, and start moving. Follow your breath as you stretch and move and wake up. Keep your eyes closed, do any movement your body needs to do any stretch, and come back to seated it within 60 seconds. These next 60 seconds are for your, for you to enjoy. for your commitment, for your effort. The life inside me honors and celebrates the life inside you. Namaste.